Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. This video, though, is primarily focused on uh, talking about an uh, a vote, a proposition that's actually on the Thurston County uh, ballot, and it's it's a little confusing to people because there's not been a lot of news that's come out about it. And I want to explain why I'm voting no on both propositions. And essentially, these two propositions uh, in Thurston County change the current number of representatives that you have as a county commission from three to five. And because the port district is county wide. The second one deals with the Port Commission same way. It goes from three to five. And I'm voting no on both of these. And I want to explain why, because there's oftentimes some confusion between uh, what's being proposed here and a home rule charter. And if you've paid attention to some of my activism over the last 10, 12 years, I'm strongly opposed to home rule charters for a number of reasons. Number one, they come with false promises that they never deliver on. They always increase taxes and cost of living. They always blow up the bureaucracy. And at the end of the day, when you go down the road a few years, the, the county is not in better shape after they uh, put in the home rule charter. Uh, it is very difficult to avoid kind of the uh, insider capture that, that occurs uh, on a home rule charter situation. Then and, and it's always worse than when it's a commission. Now, you can still get in situations where a commission county is also captured by the bureaucracy, and uh, that's another topic. But this idea of going from three to five is, is not as bad an idea as you would have with proposing a home rule charter. But I think at this time, it's a bad idea for Thurston County because all it's going to do is just bloat the bureaucracy, increase the cost of government, and it's not clear to me that uh, we would have an improvement in who's representing us in the Thurston County Courthouse. So uh, it may be that this is a road that we have to go down in a few years. I don't think right now is a good time. Now, here's one of the arguments in favor of it, and it's a legitimate argument in favor of it to some extent. And uh, so I kind of appreciate uh, why some good people are probably going to vote for it because of this argument. And it has to do with the Open Public Meetings Act uh, issue. One of the challenges is that you can't have a majority of an elected body get together and talk about something outside of the public eye, and that's true. This is the issue with school board members uh, because there's five people on a school board except for Seattle that has seven. But uh, what happens is you can't have uh, three or more school board members together talking about public policy in any way at all uh, without violating the Open Public Meetings Act. And that would happen in Thurston County if any two of the commissioners get together and talk about those issues outside of the public eye, then uh, they're automatically in violation of the OPMA. And yes, I realize that when we had three Democrat county commissioners, they broke this law all the time and they broke it with impunity even when we called them on it, but uh, the rules are never going to be applied equally. And so one of the challenges that's been brought to my attention by some of the county commissioners who have been in there who are not Democrats is that they don't have the ability to talk about things ahead of time with the other, any of the other elected officials at all. Like, what do you think about these ideas? How do we help solve the, uh, you know, to, to just basically discuss these ideas? Now, if it was me, I would just do more work sessions and have those discussions. But uh, it is one of the arguments that they make to say, this, this would at least allow allow me to have the conversation as an elected official with at least somebody else on the body and say, listen, are we getting the right information from staff? Is uh, the county manager lying to us? Uh, you know, which they do all the time in Thurston County. Or are they, false, are they cooking the books, which they also do all the time in Thurston County? So these are the types of questions that um, that county commissioner would want to be able to have. And if you had five, um, then arguably you'd be able to do that with at least one other person sometimes when you're trying to figure out what's going on. But my experience has been that uh, that is a less benefit, less of a benefit than the cost uh, that we would probably have in this situation. Now, the other argument that's oftentimes presented, particularly to South County people like me who are more conservative, is that um, the way the districts would be set up, you would have some guaranteed representation of more conservative voices on the county commission. Maybe that's true, but if you've ever seen how the redistricting commission works in Thurston County, um, they always try to set up each of these uh, districts in a way that uh, ensures that your voice, if you're remotely conservative, is always going to be squashed and silenced any way they can. Now, they may be forced to have a couple of conservative districts in a five commission structure, but they're not going to have three. That I can guarantee you. Otherwise, uh, the left-leaning uh, political class never would have supported this idea, and it would have been dead long ago. So the only reason this is being proposed is the belief that uh, they can get three, a kind of a permanent three number of left-leaning districts. Now, that might inspire you to vote for it if you're a leftist, but uh, I, as a conservative guy and somebody who actually cares about the future of Thurston County, I don't think this is a good idea right now, and that's why I'm voting no on both of these initiatives. Now, again, not the worst thing. A charter is much worse. So if we went down the charter path, I'd really, really oppose that and be running a big campaign out there. I'm just not voting in favor of this right now. Those are my reasons behind it. 
happy to hear your thoughts as well. Please add those comments down below. And since I've got a lot of questions on this, that's why I did a special video on just this one. And regardless, the future belongs to those who show up. You have to get out there and vote if you want to make any difference at all.